Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Pamela Elaine Nichols, and she is president of Destined for Greatness Incorporated. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm honored to be here, Fran. Well, this is great. it's very exciting to have you on the show. Thank sort of you. four years in the making as we were talking. <laughs> uh, it has been four years yeah, in the making yeah. for sure. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I want to jump right in after welcoming you and ask you about the name of your business. How did you come up with it? Because it's a very powerful name. Oh, thank you. Yes. My girlfriend and I actually, Kathy mm -hmm. Coleman, we mm -hmm. were in Harrisburg talking about starting a business together. What would it be? What would it say? Et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it occurred to me that we could name the business um, the same name as the title of a song that a mm -hmm. few women and I created back years ago called Woman of Destiny. And I said, well, mm -hmm. why don't we call it Destin, Destin, Destin for Greatness? And mm -hmm. we both clicked with that name and it's been the name since 2005, actually. Wow. 2004. 2004. Yeah. Well, now I'm intrigued uh -oh. and off script <laughs> question. <laughs> okay. Can you sing a few bars of the song oh. that you wrote? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that backstory, but I I, I feel oh, like put this is an opportunity. You know, just a few bars. Okay, you a know, few bars. Eight seconds, <clears throat> ten seconds. Ten seconds. But it let won't me just preface it, please. FCC rules <laughs> no. or anything like that. This song <laughs> was written by Cheryl Nichols, my sister, Shelley Pullian, my friend, Cheryl Hurley, oh. my friend, and Linda Brown, my friend. Okay. We sat together at the piano and came up with this piece. Okay. So it goes a little bit like this. A woman of destiny, that's who I long to be. Fulfilled, satisfied, ready for the world to see. That's enough. Wow. <laughs> totally yeah, cool. Yeah, I hope I did justice that, to that Cheryl, Shelley, Linda. <laughs> <and> <laughs> we'll have to sister. bring you all back and, uh, <laughs> yes. you know, do the... Uh, a duo uh, is two. Yeah. What's a four? Quad something? Qu quad anro. <laughs> <laughs> Quartet? Quartet. Quartet. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. That was very gracious of you. Totally cool. <laughs> and very risky for you, too. <laughs> It's not risk, it's opportunity. Oh, I love it's that. It's opportunity. It is. That's a better so word. So destined for greatness. Destined for wonderful, greatness. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, what's the significant story that sort of got you on the path of entrepreneurship? Yeah. Yeah. It was having four children. Mm. Wow. I had four children, what seemed to be back to back. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I left my career three times to okay. be a good mom mm -hmm. and a supportive wife. Mm -hmm. By the time I left my career the second time, a thought occurred to me. I concluded, how can I both be a good mom and supportive wife and pursue what I want? I thought, mm -hmm. why not start a business? Mm -hmm. Because if I have to leave one location to go to another to be a supportive wife, I can take my career, my business with me. Right, right. In a basket exactly. with the baby. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and the other three hanging on. Exactly. Okay. So that's how it really started with, mm -hmm. it really was out of great need to fulfill my own desires and mm -hmm. calling while yet being a mom and having given up career to follow spouse, you know, doing, trying to do the right thing, right. it left me longing. It mm -hmm. left me feeling rather empty, if I could be honest with mm -hmm. you. And having a business where at least I can put into it what matters to me was probably my salvation. Mm -hmm. So that's wow. how Destined for Greatness became what it, what it is. It started mm -hmm. off very small, mm -hmm. and, um, and now I keep it going with having evolved in the focus of the business. Does evolution, that answer your question? Yes, <laughs> evolution is a big part of business. Um, and an earlier guest talked about how the business evolves as the business owner evolves. Yes. Life circumstances, situations, desires, vision, goals. Absolutely. So where is your business now? What's, what's the passion and purpose mm, that's a great that's one. that's driving your business? It's evolved into a space that I never thought I would be in, which is helping women who are already divorced mm -hmm. 
recovering from divorce. Mm -hmm. And the key way in which that occurs is for them to discover that they are good enough to take care of themselves first. Wow. Now certainly for every mother, it's mm -hmm. important, for every human being really, mm -hmm. it's important mm -hmm. to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. However, when you become a mother, you tend to put all of your needs on the back burner mm -hmm. and take mm -hmm. care of everyone else. Mm -hmm. And when you look up, you're not as healthy, mm -hmm. as happy, mm -hmm. or as fulfilled as you want. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you've lost yourself in the process. When you go through divorce, it's extremely devastating, as most people know, whether you've gone through it or you have a friend. Mm -hmm. And you certainly lose your way. You certainly lose who you are. And taking care of yourself definitely seems like a luxury. Mm -hmm. But I help women understand a shift in belief that you are good enough mm -hmm. to take care of yourself as a priority. When you do, your happiness increases, right. your fulfillment increases, mm -hmm. your stress goes down, Ooh. and your attractiveness factor mm -hmm. skyrockets. Ah. Hello. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can understand that people yeah. are saying, I want more of that. Oh, absolutely. So how do they find you? Well, they can certainly. <laughs> one of the ways to find me is through word of mouth. That's been mm -hmm. a lot of my mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. Second is t Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. my website. And then I do a lot of workshop facilitation, and that's one of the ways, like for Highmark High Blue Shield, mm -hmm. a lot of workshop facilitation for them back in Pittsburgh and in Harrisburg. Oh. So that's one of the ways to find me, and that's also a way to find me through my book. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that's a <laughs> okay. Now that was a lead okay. in. You not only leaned in, but that was a lead in. Okay. Yeah. So why don't you show us the book? Oh. And tell us a little bit about the book. I will. Mm -hmm. This is called the book is Muddy High Heels 14 Lessons Learned from My Breakdown, Breakup, and Breakthrough. Ooh, say that slowly. Okay. Yes. Muddy High Heels. 14 lessons learned from my breakdown, mm. break up, wow, and breakthrough. Pow. Yes. The okay. breakthrough is intentionally in red because that mm. really is the focus of the lessons. Mm -hmm. What I discovered, Fran, was I, I wrote this book in the first year of my divorce. Mm -hmm. And I wrote this book with the intention of finding healing for myself because I really was a broken woman. Hmm. But what I discovered in writing this that I hope most people discover is that when you begin to look at life experiences and then you look at them in terms of what can I learn from them, you begin to uncover something. Yes. You begin to uncover what your purpose is in life. If you're willing to look at the life experiences, mm -hmm. they're not just random acts, mm -hmm. they actually, it, it's a, here's a quote in here. Mm -hmm. They actually, I'm going to read to you mm -hmm. what Dr. Alex Lickerman wrote in his book, The Undefeated Mind. He says, when we arm ourselves with a mission, we are able to feel that our life is important no matter what the circumstances we face. What may seem like isolated events like throwing a party for a child, taking a hot meal to an elderly relative, allowing a stranger to get in line ahead of you, are actually a series of interconnected plot points that delineate a coherent narrative. That narrative is our mission. Mm. What was important to me, and now is important when I coach and when I do workshops, is for individuals to identify all these, like, all these experiences that have been pivotal, pivotal, mm -hmm. pivotal, no, pivotal. Pivotal. Yeah. <laughs> but because I like the pivotal. You like the, yeah, that's, that's, that's a new word. We, we, yeah, I wouldn't work on that one. <laughs> because in those lessons, in those experiences, are key mm -hmm. lessons mm -hmm. that help you determine your mission. And a woman who knows her mission and her purpose, she's unstoppable. Absolutely. She's unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And when you go through divorce, you tend to lose mm -hmm. what your purpose is. You get mm -hmm. m all situated, messed up in, detailed in, the fight, the arguing, the custody, the lawyers, and you lose, what am I really here for? Mm -hmm. And if we can go back to those things, mm -hmm. then you can set yourself on a path to discover a beautiful life that awaits you after you go through the dark tunnel of divorce. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like 
you're discovering the beautiful life that awaits you and pieces of that life were waiting for you to discover them. They are your, wait, they, they have were, been. They were right there. They were right there, just like Dorothy. Quote. You right. know, you had the power yeah. all along mm -hmm. to go back home. Mm -hmm. But we don't recognize that when we are stuck in the mire of difficulty and mm -hmm. sadness and pain. What we need are those around us to help us see there is a purpose to this. Right. And in fact, you can write, kind of create the outcome for yourself mm -hmm. if you're bold enough. Right. And that's right. what I decided to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what every single woman can do as well. Create the outcome you want for yourself. Mm. You don't have to be a victim unless mm -hmm. you choose to. Right, right. You can totally be victorious right. if you choose to. Totally <laughs> understand, yeah. understand. Yeah. Share with me an example of someone that you worked with, obviously, mm -hmm. maintaining confidences, um, where they either read your book or participated in a workshop, mm -hmm. and they came back to you and said, oh. you know, this has really changed my life, Pamela. That's a great question, and I wonder if we have enough time to do a 30-second activity that I do with these women. It's really a very simple sure. thing. And if you would seconds, be, participate my, with me. My producer is giving me 30 <laughs> seconds. So here's okay. how it goes. Mm -hmm. I say a statement and you complete it. Okay. When you complete it, I'm going to say one thing and one thing only, which is I agree. And then I'm going to say the sentence again. You're going to complete it. I'm going to say one thing and one thing only, which is I agree. Then you're going to say that sentence again. I'm going to respond with one one response, I agree. So here it goes. I am good enough to be on national TV. I agree. Do it again. I am good enough to be on national TV. Good. You have a third one different? I am good enough for something else. Oh, um, I am good enough to, ooh, you're making mm, me think yeah. now. Um, be an international connector of African American business women. Wow. So they grow their businesses phenomenally. I agree. Now my turn. Yes. And you do the same. Okay. I agree. <laughs> I am good enough to be a best selling author. I agree. I am good enough to be a phenomenal mother. I agree. I am good enough to be loved and adored in a relationship. I agree. Wow. When I do Ooh. that simple activity, it is transformative mm -hmm. because many of us don't believe we're good enough mm -hmm. to be on national TV, mm -hmm. to be superior, mm -hmm. to be amazing. Mm -hmm. We play small when we are not designed to be small. So that's, and then when I do that with mm -hmm. individuals, not only are there tears right, flowing, right, right. but then the response of, oh my goodness, that was such a transformative, simple experience right. with you. Right. Yeah. Is that, wow. Does that answer your question? That, it, that yeah. does, yeah. Um, and demonstrates yeah. um, the experience. Yeah, exactly. I Thank know. you for letting me do that. Oh, sure. Because you Thank had no you. idea, Thank and you were so gracious. Oh, well, you Thank know, you. this is part of the conversation. This yeah. is the beauty yeah. of, of connections. It is. We have, I, it's hard to believe, <gasps> only a minute left. No! no. <laughs> but you can always come back. Okay, um, thank you. So share where folks can get in touch with you, find out more about you. Yeah, the best place is to just go on the website, www.d as in Destin, f as in for greatness, dfgreatness.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then you, there's an information you can fill out if you want me to reach out to you. There's a phone number if you want to mm -hmm. call me. And you can email me from there as well. That's probably the best place. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Pamela Elaine Nichols, <laughs> yeah. you are good enough for whatever <laughs> you set your mind to. Thank you, Fran. I appreciate that. Thank and you. I love the a cappella singing. I mean, that. What a treat. Oh, what a treat. Wow. I, you know, I'd like to talk to you and your quartet <laughs> of songwriters about yeah. creating a significant Ooh, song. They um, might take that on. Okay, I, I am very interested in that. Oh, um, thanks, Fran. So okay. let's, let's continue Stop. that conversation. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you have it. With singing, significant <laughs> singing, a significant story from a significant entrepreneur, Pamela and Lane Nichols, founder of Destined for Greatness. I'm your host, Fran McNeil. Join me in the future as we continue to discover and uncover 
significant stories from significant entrepreneurs.